Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be installing, uh, we're going to be retrofitting a wireless phone charger to the F56. Um, now this is sort of, it's a new modification, I mean it's been out for quite some time. Um, I haven't seen many people install it. Share it with Custom Parts, who I picked this up from, have actually started selling it. So I thought, you know what, why not get one? I thought, why not get one? It's been something I've been after for, for quite some time now since I've seen it. I just haven't been too sure if I wanted to get one, but... I thought, why not? I'll get one, um, and today we're going to fit it. So, um, you've got two options, really, when it comes to charging or wirelessly charging. You've got the OEM one that Mini supply, and I think that's that's a good few hundred pounds um, easily, um, which is why I didn't want to go down that route. Plus, you're limited to really what size phone. It installs in the centre armrest, so you're really limited as to what size phones you can put in there. So that's your first option, really. And the second option is the one that you can retrofit. Um, and it actually goes underneath the start-stop button. Um, I'll just get it out of the box. So I only ordered this the other day. It has been a bank holiday uh, since then. So, But really quick, quick shipping. So, so this is it. This is, well, yeah, this is basically it. Your phone... Sits on the top of there, bit of dust where it's cardboard, really. Um, so we're gonna have to remove the current cigarette lighter thing in there. Um, that pulls out. Well, no, the cigarette lighter stays in there. The uh, aux and USB uh, comes out, um, as well as the the face plate. And then we transfer it over to here. Um, put this one in, take some clips out. I'll show you guys in a second. So as far as I'm aware, this uh, provides, I think it's 15 watt uh, output of wireless charging. So I'm not too sure what, you know, each individual phone can handle. I'm not too sure what my phone in particular can handle as well. Um, but yeah, 15 watt, it's not a slow charge. Um, so we should see some, um, you know, good ch quick charges from it. It comes with a little rubber mat on the top as well that you can remove if you need to clean it. Um, and a little indicator light on the front as well. So I'm going to get the camera mounted up. You don't need to um, remove the centre screen for this uh, this modification, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to mount the camera down in the foot well. I'm going to show you how to remove the uh, the old sort of fascia plate on there, and then we'll get to installing this one. So I'll be back in a second. Right then. So again, just to reiterate, this goes in here like so, and that's where your phone charges basically. <laughs> So we're going to remove the cigarette lighter thing here. Excuse the dust, I haven't cleaned the car as of yet. Get yourself like a, I don't know, a, a pry removal tool sort of thing. And then you'll have a gap around the perimeter here of this plate. There we go. So that pulls off the face plate. Uh, leaves us with a few cables behind, as you can see. Pull out this first one here, and then this white one here, which is the aux. As far as I'm aware, um, it might be. Yeah, we have to remove that as well. So, so now we've removed this faceplate. We need to press on these two metal tabs here, and then push that through like so. And then this slides in to the new faceplate here. I'm gonna do walks at the bottom, USB at the top. I don't know if that's, <clears throat> you know, the right way or not, but you know, you gotta make do. You have gotta somehow get your hands in here. There's a connector at the back of the, the old cigarette socket. So you have gotta get your hands up in there That pulls through as well. I forgot to mention also in the package you get, um, well, it's almost like it's a new wiring harness basically that jumps off of the cigarette lighter um, connector here, goes into the back of the new cigarette lighter and then you've got uh, a wire here, well, a connector here for uh, the charger. So you're gonna wanna pull out here, you've got your old cigarette lighter um, connector that's come out the back. Plug in the new the new one that comes on the new harness. Okay. Um, and then you can plug in 
I'm going to do it this way. Uh, take the end of the wireless charging cable here, plug this in like so first. There we go. So I'm going to tuck this one all, I'm going to tuck this back in. I've got to mention, before we go any further, um, you've got to remove these metal clips here from the old sort of uh, faceplate uh, and put them onto the new one. It's not that difficult to remove. Once you've taken them off, make sure you just give them a quick squeeze shut um, and then that'll allow it to, to grip onto these new, you know, standoff things there. So you've got three of those. Now we're just gonna reattach all of the wires. Again, cigarette lighter to the cigarette lighter. And then you've got your aux one here, which plugs in there. And then you've got your USB powered one down there, or the other way around, I don't know. And then all you do is push all these wires into the void at the back. Like so. Just make sure all those wires are tucked away in the back nicely. And then this should clip in like so. Blimey, that's good. Right, let's have a, let's have a closer look. Right then, so I've just had to switch to the iPad screen. Obviously, I want to make use of the phone uh, to show you how this works. Before, uh, ignore the fact, I know some, I'm going to get some comments about where is the um, display here. I had to remove it, like I said in my previous video, for uh, when I sent my car off to be to be fixed. Um, so that will be going back in shortly, so don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, there we go. Excuse the mess, you know, it's dirty. The car is used and, uh, you know. So, basically... That's it. <laughs> How cool is that? So before, I used to have the cable running out of there um, to plug my phone in uh, and to use CarPlay. So, but now with wireless char, you know, wireless charging. Hopefully, I can place this on on here. Hey, look at that! How cool is that? And also, now we just turn the car on. Give it a second. It should connect to uh, CarPlay. There we go. So, <clears throat> how cool is that? So we now no longer need to use the cable um, to use CarPlay. That was, to be fair, that was the one thing that I really wasn't too happy about using, um, was running the cable out of here, and I just put the phone on my, on my car seat, or I tucked it away in there. But now, I can place my phone on there. So it actually also says at the top up there that it's charging, and then if we move our phone off, there we go, it's not charging. Put the phone back on the pad. There we go. And again, it's charging. And you can also see at the top, just up there. There we go, the little charging indicator at the top. Up there. That is really, really cool. I'm gonna pop a link in the description uh, to where you can get this from. Um, there's also a little blue light. I don't know if you can see. Really don't like using this iPad, but you know. I wonder if it'll if I just change the brightness a bit. There we go. Little blue light in there. And then when you take your phone off, there we go, that goes off. Put the phone back on. There we go. And that pops back on. Really, really impressed with that. Uh, nice little addition. Um you can get the ones that go in the centre armrest, but it's not really. I don't know, it's a lot of money, to be fair, when you can get one like this, and it does the job just as well. Um, like I say, I think it is, it said on, underneath it's 15 watt uh, output, so it's relatively quick charging. I think on par with, you know, one of the stock iPhone chargers. Uh, but this will, uh, as far as I'm aware, this works with pretty much any wireless, you know, sort of charging phone, you know, you've got, um, that supports, I think it's a Qi uh, wireless charging standard, so... Um, yeah, super, super impressed with that. So guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, 
I'm going to drop a link in the description to where you can get it. I got it from Sherrod Custom Parts, SCP Automotive, uh, whichever you want to call them. I'll drop a link in the description. You can also use the discount code BEN10 uh, where you can get 10% off. Where you can get 10% off if you want. Uh, so that would be nice uh, for you. Um, yeah, all in all, super happy. Something I'd definitely recommend uh, if you guys have got CarPlay or, you know, even if you're just using the stock system and you're Bluetooth and your music over. Um, I think it's great. Definitely better than running the cable anyway. So guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you like the video, click like. If you want to see more videos in the future, hit subscribe. Follow by the notification bell. We'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I shall see you all in the next video.